Hello everyone, today we are going to build a small application where we make use of this image here and we try to implement a draw where we have here an image like an avatar and we can select here between different images. Here is the name and also the email address. And another thing we want to do is to select these different items here. So we have always one item selectable and we have here two sections one general section and here with a subheader. We start here with an empty application. So we have here a scaffold and an app bar and we want to implement a draw. Therefore, we have here another property which is called draw. Therefore, we create here another draw widget. I've created it already. So I will import it and then go to my widget and draw widget where we have here this stateful widget. The first thing what we want to do is to create these two integer values here and initialize them with the value of zero. We do it here because we have a selected draw index, which is the index here for this list, which we selected here, which item we selected. In this case, it is inbox. Therefore, I have created a data folder, which contains this draw items file. And here we have all of these items here of the right side stored. So it's a list of draw group one. So we have here inbox, start, send email and drafts and a second list of draw item where we have the remaining items like all emails, trash and spam. And here we have also a list of these combined draw groups. And this index, which I showed you before is responsible for saying which item here in this list is currently selected. And the same goes for the profile images. We have here a list of profiles with these different images and also different kind of names and email addresses. And we also have here for an index so that we can say which image is here shown on the left side. Now we want to create this drawer. So we go here and type drawer. And inside of this drawer, I create another method which I named build account info. And inside of this method, we want to return another object which is called user account drawer header. And this object has different things, an account email. So we can supply here name and then we can supply here an email address. And if we hot reload it right now, then we have this long list here where we have this name and also an email address, but that's not what we really want. We don't want that this takes so much space here. So we will add here another thing. We will wrap it here into a column and reload it. And from the size, it looks like the drawer sample. The next thing what we want to do is to add this background image here. Therefore, we go here and have this property decoration. And here we simply add a box decoration where we have this property called image. And here we can pass an image. So we go here with an asset image, which means we get this image from our file system. And we want to display images background gpg and this image itself is stored here in our root folder under images and background we also have to wrap it here in a decoration image so that's what we are going to do here and we see that this image is not filled here totally so what we need to do is to add this other property fit and box fit and then cover which means it takes a whole space here. The next thing what we want to do is to create this um, selected image, which we have here on the left side. Therefore, we go here into our user accounts draw header. And here we have another property, which is simply called current account picture. And here we pass only one widget. Therefore, we say here image asset to load some image from our file system. And I also do here another thing. So I go over our data, which I have stored here. And we want to get the selected profile index, which we have here in our state. And so every time we get the selected profile we have, and we want to show of our selected profile, the image property. So we have here three properties, name, email, and image. Therefore, we can also show here the selected profile name and here, select profile email. And if we hot reload it, we have here this image and the name and also an email address. 
The next thing what we want to do is to show these both images so that we can change our accounts. And it's also pretty easy. We go to our user accounts drawer header and here we have another property which is called other accounts pictures. And this time it's a list, not a single widget. And I also added here another variable which is responsible for the list profiles which we can later choose. And here I have created another method where we just set the selected profile index, which is every time this index here, which we selected. And here we get also the selected profile and we remove the selected profile from our list. So we have only the remaining profiles left. And that's what we want to have here because we don't want to have this profile in our list. And then we have the other profiles and we just set them here. And now we need to go over this list profile and map it. And here we want to actually show also with image asset as the same as we did here before the profile image. And then we return here list. And if we hot reload it, we have these base images here, which are the remaining images. Like you can see, it looks pretty similar to our thing here. But now if we tap here on these different images, nothing will happen. And that's the next thing what we want to change. To make our images selectable, we go here and wrap our asset image into an ink bill so that we can tap on this image and get a response. And here we have this on tap function where we just want to set the state, first of all, to update our app every time we tap on this image here. And here we want to set the selected profile index, which is responsible for showing this image here on the left side. Therefore, we go over all of our profiles, which we have here. So we have all of our profiles stored here. And here we have a method which is called index where. And this method goes over all of our elements which are stored. So it goes here inside of our profiles and looks at this element, at this element, at this element. We get this element here with current profile and then we want to make sure that it is equal to our profile which we clicked on. So this is the profile which we tapped on currently and we compare them and then we set the selected profile index to this new index which we got from our tab. And now if we hot reload it and tap here around, we see it will always set the new index and also the name and the email address will change. The next thing what we can do here also, we can change the background to the real background. So I found this image in the internet and we just have here this URL. And instead of our uh, decoration, which we have here as our background image, we can also set this other image. And in this case, I have not downloaded it so we go here with decoration image and then network image and then we just pass the URL here inside. And if we hot reload it, then the image will load from the internet. And of course, we also have to set here the fit with box fit again and cover so that it will stretch over the whole thing. And that's what we also can do if you want to have the original image. And the next thing what we want to do is to create these list starts here. Therefore, we create here another method under our account info, which we called build draw list. And here we want to have a list view displayed and which is separated. List view means that we can show multiple widgets underneath. And here we have an item builder, a separator builder and a item count. And we want to display our drawer groups here inside, which we have stored in this data file. So I will just copy this name and say here drawer groups dot length and I will import it here. Now we want to create this item builder here and if we tap control and go over this item builder we see we need a build context and an index and here we just want to return a divider which is responsible for showing this line here. I mean of course we needed to put it here to our separator builder which is the separator between our group items here for our item builder we also need this build context and index and here we create this build draw item group method and the item builder is generally responsible for building all of our items we have here specified that we have 
two items so we have here two items in our list and the item builder itself will go over all indices so it will call this method two times and then it will get every element of this drawer groups first time it goes here with zero and get the first element and second time it goes here with one and gets then the second element and we also add here another method which is called to index offset which i will import here this method here is generally only responsible for building one group here so we have here a group of items and another one is with a subheader group and every group is divided by this divider here and what we do here inside we have here a column where we just want to display a header and this header is simply a text so we just display a text which we get from our group header so our draw item group has a header and multiple items and the items itself have a name and an icon so here is the name and this is the icon and the draw item group has this header but it's not uh, required every time so this has not a header here and after this optional header which we created here we want to display the items below and i have created here another variable where we go here into our group so we have here this group with this header and items and we want to display the items so we get the items property here then we call on this list of drawer items and the smap function will return the index of the list and also the corresponding value inside so when we call on this sample list here as map then we get this turning map here where every time we have the index in this case zero for phi because this is the first element and then we get here one and phi which is the second element and then we get pho and so on so we get this kind of map with all the indices and now we simply map this index and this item we got and here we just create a list tile a list tile is responsible to show this item here this widget and here we have a property which is called leading which is responsible for showing every time the items here in front and then we have the title where we simply want to display a text um, let's remove this quickly here this property so nothing is selected currently and we want to use our select draw index which we passed here inside at the beginning and we compare it here with our index if it's the same then it should be selected and the index offset is simply an offset if we have multiple groups that we combine the indices of these both groups so we have here 0 1 2 3 and this index offset simply gets here for this instead of 0 again it will then get 4 so that we have one list and not two independent lists and we also have here an untap property so every time we select a different item we want to show this change so we simply set the current index of our item which we selected to the selected drawer index and then it will redraw everything and makes this item selected another thing is i printed here also everything inside so for example i select inbox then i get the index zero with the inbox if i go here we have the index four because again this is a combined list of both items here they are not independent and if I go here with five, we have also the index five and trash, for example. The next thing what we want to do is to get rid of the space here at the top of our list. So we go here to our build draw list, which is responsible for showing all this content here. And here we need to add the padding to zero. And if we hot reload it, we get rid of this padding here at the top. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!